Good morning. Laugh at me all you want. I don't care. <laughs> I'm just waking up. And I'm about to fix me some breakfast. I'm going to fix me some potatoes. I'm going to fix me some salmon croquettes and pancakes this morning. And then I have to finish up with my schoolwork because I need some resting periods to rest. But ladies and gentlemen, I am very, very, very just flabbergasted by what is currently going on in the world. So many different things going on from politics to inflation to just so many things. So many, so many things sometimes, you know, not something well, Lord, these loud cars. I hate them. I hate loud cars. Now I've come to the point now I hate them. I hate them. Um, you know, and then we have things that are going on in our personal lives too. Guys, so many things going on. I posted something on my community page and um, if you get a chance, just read it. Read it. That's how I feel right now. But I just wanted to come on to show you what I look like naturally just getting up there are times when I will post a video and it's dark it's because I don't want you to see me like this <laughs> there's nobody in the bed with me I live by myself so I'm not over here shacking up hitting skins not doing that but I just wanted to encourage you guys and to remind you all that, you know, do not live a faithless life, but to live a faithful life. And I know sometimes you can be in our feelings, but let's push into Christ, continue to read our word and pray. I know some of us don't want to even do that. We hear that and it's like we cringe. Because your spirit can't, your flesh can't tolerate it. But push more into that spirit. Push more into that spirit. That's what we all need to do because we are living in trying times, man. And it's only going to get more challenging. But if we push into Christ, he's going to change our perspectives, ideas. He's going to give us faith and revelation He's going to give us dreams and visions, however he desires to reveal himself and his word to us. He's going to give it to us. But we have to push into Christ. To walk this life without Christ is dangerous. When you're going on the opinions of what other people are saying and what other people are doing, that's dangerous. Hell is real, people, and hell is hot. The Bible is real, and the word is fulfilling itself in these last days. It's not a joke. It's not a game. Remember that we have more than a body. We have a spirit. Feed your spirit. And those of us who are saints, that are children of God, continue to pray, to read your word, worship Christ. I know sometimes it gets very discouraged and I get discouraged by the things that I see and listen to, you know? And Christ is touched by the feelings of our infirmities. It says it in his words, in his word. He knows how we feel, but we have to make up within our minds. We have to make the decision to really serve Christ. And it's not a horrible walk. It's a beautiful walk. There's so many things that Christ wants to do in our lives. 
but we have to make the decision to really serve him totally totally and the enemy is using people to confuse other people will smith is not the bible will smith is not jesus will smith is being used by the enemy to confuse a whole lot of people you keep walking around thinking you jesus right now he's adding on to the word which is a sin you know and god is having mercy on people let me tell you something there's gonna be a time when that mercy is gonna be cut short he's gonna put out your light because you're not fearing him some of us are walking on this earth not fearing God. And fear doesn't mean that you're walking around scared, literally, oh my God, I'm scared of God. I don't want him to kill me. I don't want him to... The fear that we're talking about is reverence. It's respect. We have no respect for God. No respect for the fact that Jesus Christ died on the cross. Listen, yo, all that stuff is real. That's not fake. And we have so many different religions and cults and ideologies about this, that, and the third. We have one God, one Christ, one Bible that was inspired by people. And that Bible is standing strong today. You have different translations. Pick a translation, read it. Once again, I suggest to start with the book of John because it talks about Jesus when he's about to be crucified. And then go into Genesis. Read your word. Just pray gradually. I'm not forcing nobody to do anything. But let me tell you something. We're heading into trying times. We're going to head into very challenging times. And there's going to be there's going to continue to be a great falling away. You do not want to be having a reprobate mind. I'm looking at some of these celebrities, how fast they have transitioned, for real, for real. You know they're being used by the enemy. It's crazy. And I have really, I can say that when it comes to listening to secular music like hip hop and R&B, I'm gonna be transparent and honest, like I may once in a blue listen to it. I don't even listen to it the way that I used to anymore because it's getting real. It's like the Holy Spirit is telling me things are about to get real, real, really real, real, real scary, real scary. So get right. Get right. I'm praying about everything. I'm praying about myself. You know, everything, you know, God willing, if I meet that person, that's for me. Because I'm single. I'm not dating anybody right now. I'm praying that he is not Jesus, <laughs> but somebody that prays, reads his word, has a genuine relationship with Christ. Somebody that's going to lead me, who I can trust to lead because he has a relationship with Christ. That's very important to me. If I don't see that, then there is no interest. But I just want to encourage each and every one of you, okay? I know you don't feel like praying, maybe. Or maybe you do. Maybe I'm your confirmation that you should. Whatever you know is a hindrance. Whatever you know is a detriment to your life. Let it go. Let it go. These are my words of encouragement to you this morning with my head all looking like. Okay, so as I'm encouraging you, I'm encouraging myself because there are times when I feel, I feel down. But not all the time, but there are times when it really hits me because when you really sit down and think about, I think about how I was growing up and how the years and decades have transitioned into this is very disappointing. But Christ has overcome the world, and that is what gives us hope. So Jehovah God, 
who sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is more powerful than anything else in this world. So let's walk in the power that Jesus Christ gives us. Have a blessed Saturday. I'll talk to you guys later. Feel free to like and comment on my video. Give your opinion too if you like. But if you're going to be a troll, I will block you. Your words do not offend me. Bless your heart. Peace.